So we just got some major news and information about that new company called Pokemon Works, which is a subsidiary company of the Pokemon company. I just said company way too many times, but it had to be said. So we just got some new information about who the directors are and a little bit more information about exactly what Pokemon Works will do in the future. So here's the full list of the directors of Pokemon Works. I don't want to say the names because I really don't want to butcher the names and, and get the names wrong. So here we got the representative director of Ilka is part of Pokemon Works and the director of the Pokemon Company is part of Pokemon Works. Supervisor of the local subsidiary Pokemon, Shanghai Toys, so the a toy company seems like that's pretty interesting. I wonder exactly what that is. And then we got an unknown, and then we got the director of Ilka. So it's kind of just a mix, and this confirms that this is literally a joint venture, which makes perfect sense just judging by the people and what their roles are in Pokemon Works and their other jobs from other companies. Also, if you guys don't mind leaving a like and subscribing to the channel and maybe even leaving a comment down below, it really helps so much and I appreciate every single one of you that does support the channel. So basically the main part about this business is to contract development of games related to Pokemon. So this is a quality control company for future releases is what somebody commented and Central League said no, this company seems like it has two potential objectives, support development of Game Freak projects or lead development of smaller titles like BDSP. So I feel like it's more so lead development of smaller titles like BDSP. So I guess this could mean Game Freak may not be doing any more remakes. And a lot of people think that like Legends games are remakes. That's like a common thing that people are saying, which Legends games, in my opinion, are not remakes at all because it's, it's just not a remake. It's going back to an older generation with a whole new storyline and that doesn't mean it's a it's a remake. So, so I feel like it would make the most sense for Pokemon Works to actually be a support company for the future remakes of Pokemon games. So this could be future black and white remakes, black and white two remakes, which is really interesting because are they going to do one single individual remake for those games, or are those games going to get their own individual remake? So it's black and white remake, and then a couple years later we'll get the black and white two remake. Little interesting thought, but. I really do feel like it is a kind kind of a quality control because the games that Ilka has made, well I guess Ilka has literally only made one mainline Pokemon game which would be Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. Um, they had a lot of bugs, it was kind of a copy and paste, the games were fun and everything but they just weren't super great as far as most of the remakes for Pokemon games have actually been. And this could also entail that Game Freak will have more time to themselves and more they could focus on their own games, maybe even slow down the releases from Game Freak. So maybe let's say Game Freak will release one game every two years while Ilka and this Pokemon Works new subsidiary company can work on another game. So we'll still get a game every single year, but it'll be like flip flop. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know if that's exactly what it could mean. This also could entail that we'll get two Pokemon games a year. Or maybe one year we'll have one game, and the next year we'll have two games, and so on and so forth, just kind of repeating that cycle. I think this would be amazing if Game Freak would have more time to actually develop their own games, because Game Freak makes the best Pokemon games out of, you know, all the other companies that may help, in my opinion. So, and I feel like if they have more time, it'll actually just really make the future Pokemon games from Game Freak that much better. And they're working on Generation 10 right now, I wonder, I don't know what other games they're working on, but I'm... I'm pretty, you know, confident. I think it's safe to say that they're definitely working on Generation 10. They've probably been working on Gen 10 for a couple of years now. They probably started, you know, 2021 or 2022. This goes back to, like, the announcement that the Pokemon Company made a couple months ago where they said they're basically just going to slow down production and focus more because they, they have 100% heard everyone's complaints about Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, which is probably the main reason why they're, they made Pokemon work so that stuff doesn't happen again, and especially with Scarlet and Violet, which... Who knows why those games actually run so poorly? Maybe it's because they were rushed. Maybe it's just I don't I don't know to be honest. That we never really had a solid answer as to why those games were so laggy and buggy. But hopefully, going on in the future though, they won't be like that. And if Pokemon Works is actually working with Uka for the future development of like side Pokemon games, like the remakes or whatever you know whatever random games they may make that are side games not not like the main generation games if that makes sense that would entail that they have a lot of people that are high up in the pokemon you know realm within different companies related to pokemon and they're going to be able to hopefully fully dive into what makes a pokemon game good like what makes a remake 
great. And I'm pretty sure that Game Freak actually made uh, Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire, and I think those are the last remakes that they made because you all know this, but they didn't make Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. So think of Pokemon Works more so as a support team for Ilka because I feel like Ilka, because it seems like Ilka is here to stay. It seems like they're going to be making Pokemon games for years to come, which is a good which I think actually is a good thing. I, I do think Ilka is a skilled team, and I think that they can do some crazy, amazing things with video games, and I really think that this is going to help Ilka produce just better Pokemon games as a whole, because they've only had one run. I mean, I know it's kind of crazy that they were able to do a remake of uh, Generation 4, which is a huge, you know, extremely popular generation, and it wasn't received all that well, but they're gonna they they hear everyone you know what i'm saying like they heard everyone's thoughts and a lot of people are concerned about this but i feel like because that they're putting the effort in to make a whole new subsidiary company pokemon works to help ilka and just support them and everything is huge and they're going in the right direction because they want the future pokemon games to perform well and they want them to be perceived well by the fans and buy and get good reviews so they can obviously sell more even though they are selling like a crazy ton of pokemon games like i'm i'm pretty sure they sell more pokemon games now than they ever have like in the ds era game boy era it's crazy and also it seems like the domain pokemon works that jp which i'm assuming is japan probably their website in japan has been registered so it looks like we're probably going to get an official announcement about it soon hopefully I think that would be actually really, really cool to see, like, the official announcement so they could officially tell us what it is or they could have, like, you know, their business statement on their website and we could just get the exact information about what they're going to do with Pokemon and Ilka and how they're going to go on in the future with Pokemon Works. And especially with Game Freak, I'm really interested to hear how Game Freak is going to, you know, move forward, if they're going to slow down production but focus more on one game at a time. You know, what, what are they going to actually do? And there's also some cool side side leaks information about pokemon go so it seems like we're getting a latin american spanish translation within pokemon go and so that seems like it's actually gonna also be in legends za which is pretty cool i'm surprised this wasn't in the game you would think that this would have been in the game already but that's pretty cool news and um, it's cool that pokemon go is still getting updated you know i, I love seeing the pokemon go updates the game's been out for like it's kind of approaching 10 years, almost. I mean, I think the game came out, what, 2016, and it's 2024, so it's been out for nearly eight years now. I think, like, seven and a half. It's crazy that the Pokemon Go, like, franchise itself is huge. There's so many people still playing it. I still play it, you know, passively. I just, you know, hop on every couple of days, maybe catch a random Pokemon, put my uh, Pokemon in the gym. I love hatching eggs on it. That's that's mainly what I use it for, just to hatch eggs for fun. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.